Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Arcanize here, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I am here talking about TV shows, comic books, movies, every single day, so hit that subscribe button if you're into that kind of stuff. I'm reviewing The Flash, Season 5, Episode 15, titled King Shark vs. Gorilla Grodd. This is the episode we have been waiting for forever. Like, oh my gosh, people have been wanting this episode since, like, season two, and I never thought we were gonna get it just because of how expensive these two characters are, and to put them both in the same episode, it's pretty crazy, and this definitely was the best episode of the second half of season five. I would not call it perfect. I think it could have been a little bit better but I actually enjoyed it, had fun watching it, which I haven't had from The Flash in a while. So let's start with the stuff that I really did like. Joe is back, and I just love seeing Joe, all right? What he brings to this show, you know, the actor is great. It's awesome seeing him having that father figure kind of there for not just Iris and Perry, but almost everyone on the show. And I, I really like seeing Joe back. Now, I am still iffy on the metahuman cure, but this episode made me a little bit more open to it. I'm not gonna lie. I still kind of don't get why it's a thing, but I feel like this episode did a better job at explaining it than most did and why they have it. Now, Sherlock Wells is also great. Tom Cavanaugh, he's just one of the best actors, period. Like, oh my god. Sherlock is so great, and all of that is due to Tom Cavanaugh. Like, the man is such a great actor, and I wish he was more recognized. Now, I didn't think I would say this, but the Iris storyline actually makes sense in this episode. And, you know, I wasn't really liking where her character was going, but it kind of makes sense that after fighting Cicada, even though the fight was stupid that she would be a little afraid, you know? She would be a little scared to go back to her office, and that's kind of where Joe came in, which I really liked. Cisco is also great this episode. I love all his pop culture references. Oliver Queen was name dropped. You know, he referenced Jaws the Revenge. Cisco is just a great character. I'm gonna be really sad to see him go, but Dr. Lambden in this episode, I really liked. I thought she added something to the team, and she was a breath of fresh air. Maybe she could replace Cisco after he leaves, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Also, the special effects in this episode, yes, they are great. King Shark's proportions looked a little bit off, but other than that, you know, the CGI special effects, they were all really, really good in this episode. The action was super fun. I was so enjoying the fight, especially the final battle between the two monsters. That was awesome. And just King Shark's arc in this episode was really interesting. I wasn't buying some of it, but most of it I really got behind. And I was like, okay, I really like what they're doing with his character. And... The setup to the fight was really interesting, and I thought they did it pretty well, you know. Now, I am 50-50 on the King Shark human form. Sometimes I really liked it, and sometimes I was like, he is King Shark, though, so I don't know. But Gorilla Grodd's entrance was sweet. I think we can all agree on that. Now, I'll dive into some more of the things I didn't like. There aren't as many this episode Barry's use of his speed was a little bit weird, like, he only uses it after he gets punched in the face and then vibe blasted, like, I don't know, some of that was a little bit weird. He is the guy that caught, like, 10,000 bullets in two seconds, so, I don't, I don't really know, but the big stakes in this episode I really did like. Now, I do have to talk about the Cisco foreshadowing because I think this episode was a lead up to maybe Cisco leaving the show and I don't want him to die and I think maybe they're trying to write him off the show in a good little way some of the parts of this episode were a little bit awkward a little bit cheesy but that's just the flash so I'm not gonna go too much into it uh overall 
fun episode. There were some things I didn't like. I think they could have done some things better. I wasn't a big fan of Nora because otherwise we would have had basically OG Team Flash. But, you know, Nora was there and kind of ruined it. But overall, really solid episode. For the first time in a while, I will give The Flash Season 5 Episode 15 a 8.9 out of 10. Let me know what you thought about the episode down below in the comments. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you in between? Let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace.